Hello, you're through to Warpstone TV, and today we're going to be painting a Necron uh, from the Nihilac Dynasty. And uh, first off, we're going to spray it silver, which is with Lead Belcher spray from Citadel. And then straight away, once that has dried, we're going to start with uh, Nolan Oil on the actual whole model itself, just so that it gets in all the crevices of the Necron. Most of the Necron colour schemes always start with a sort of metallic and then a, say a wash so it gets in all in crevices as they are an undying race of robots technically like Terminator so on the Nil Halak de dynasty uh, they are like a proud race so they're not going to have very battle damaged armour they're going to have a quite shiny so in the next stage once the Nolan oil is dried we're going to go on to uh, Necron compound dry paint and uh, as I've said before in other videos on dry brushing, just dry brush this, dab a bit on your paintbrush and then wipe it on some tissue and just make sure you have a little bit on your brush and just go over the whole model, just catching all the edges and the top part of where the light's going to hit on the model. Just when it, you can see all the shade from the, from the wash pop out then compared to having a highlight as well. So on a lot of this dynasty, it does have a lot of blue and a lot of gold. So we're going to start with Retributor Armor Gold, and we're going to do the faceplate in gold. Uh, a lot of dynasties, the higher up they go, the more gold they'll have on them uh, for this, this dynasty. So like on a Necron Warrior, we're just going to do the face gold and then the shoulder pads blue, uh, just to show that they are a, a normal person, basically, in, in, their, in their race. And on the blue, we're going to go with Araman blue. What we're going to need to do is get these shoulder pads uh, on there. But also on the front of his chest plate, there's a little uh, Necron logo. And that's where we'll put a little bit of blue as well. And then obviously edge that with gold. So then it, it's sort of symbolizing that you are important to the Legion. But you're also basically a throwaway. You know, the, There'll be millions of Necron Warriors per Legion. So as you can see on like uh, Trazin, the Overlord of Solomons, uh, you'll see he has blue on his chest all over. He's not a Pharon, he's just a sub-leader sort of thing. Uh, there is a Pharon to the whole dynasty, but I don't think he's awake yet. So now we're going to go on to the shade of the model and we're going to use right on Flesh Shade to get a load of shade and darker areas and then recesses on the gold parts and then we're going to go back onto Nolan Oil on the blues just so then you can see it's dirtier but also not completely battle worn so once that blues uh, dried from the Nolan Oil wash we're going to go onto Araman blue which is going to just edge highlight around the, all the blue sections, uh, so the shoulder pads, and if you're on a bigger model, like a Triax Stalker, the legs, or Lich Guard around the shields. Like we're trying to make the Necron blue a bit brighter, and within the Necron Legion, you want it the brighter, the higher the rank. So here we go to highlight the gold areas with auric armor gold. Uh, just get around the top of the actual skull. Just where the light would catch it and over his chest symbol. So now the last highlight for the blue, once the Araman blue dried, we're going to go on to Temple Guard blue. And here again, we're going to go along the edges of the shoulder pads. Uh, try to make sure that some Araman blue from your last highlight sticks out. But also, what we're going to do on the skull uh, to defy what rank they're in or what squad they're in, put a little blue strip down the front of his face. Uh, maybe if you wanted to, you could put uh, a strip of gold on a shoulder pad or 
to say sort of give him a royal guard effect for your HQ. Uh, but now we're going to go on to the Black Templar contrast, and we're going to get all the gun, like where the gorse actual f flare energy particle is, uh, as well as the little pipes and his handle. Uh, if there's any pipes on the actual Necron as well underneath his chest, then you can also do them in this Black Templar contrast. So on the Gorse Flayer, there is some little energy balls. Uh, also in his eyes, they're going to have a, like, a sort of green glow. So what we're going to do is start off with, we're going to start off with White Scar. And that will set the base layer for this green glow. Uh, just fill in them little orbs. Uh, you need to thin down your paint quite a bit to get it in these little orbs. And also the little crevices around the orbs help give that glow effect. So for any wires that are sticking out on the actual Necron Warrior or on the Gorse Flayer, uh, what I would use is Caliban Green as a base layer, just so then it looks like there's some green in there and it is dark enough to give a bit of shade by itself. You don't really need to wash it or anything like that. So now we're going to use some Tesseract Glow uh, and that will sort of give a bit of a sort of glowy effect like it says on the actual paint within the white that's why we put it on a white layer uh, so it shows right through so it look, makes it look a bit brighter so we're going to use that on the eyes and also on the energy particles on the Necron Warriors actual gun Once that Tesseract Glow has dried, we're going to go around with Warp Lightning Contrast and just fit it down a tiny bit with a bit of medium, just so then it goes into all the crevices on where you've put the Tesseract Glow. So it sort of gives us contrast between the greens. So next on all the actual pipe work, we can go ahead with Warpstone Glow. As it says on the actual uh, paint pot itself, it does give it a bit of a glow effect. So on the last part of the green, we're going to go on a highlight with White Sky. It only needs a little tiny dot on all the little orbs and the energy particles. And also on the wire, I'd thin it down a bit just so it can go on the wire. Uh, you only need a little dot in each section. So that's basically all the actual warrior done and the gorse flare. That is just a tabletop standard and how I do it. So now just to add a bit of difference between the metal and say if I added a mud effect it would look a little dark and dingy so I add Martian Iron Earth just when it gives a different sort of contrast between the blue to a red and get this quite thick on, on a rubbish brush technically that you, you have uh, but wait, do one layer and then wait for it to dry and then add another layer because what it'll do it'll create a sort of crackle effect on the floor of your model it's like they're on Mars, technically. It's like they'll be fighting Mechanicus or like a Mechanicus sort of planet where it's all dusty and no life at all. So that is it on painting the Nihilak Dynasty. Uh, it's a tabletop standard. That's how I, I would paint all my army. I'll just show a few pictures here on what it looks like. See, I've added a bit of uh, grass as well on the base of one just so, that, so it looks a bit different. Uh, so next video will be a Death Guard video, since I had a comment on my last video from a person called Jev. And yes, I will paint Death Guard next. Also, there was another comment saying, can I make my own custom high fleet painting video? And yes, I will do that as well. That will be uh, for future upcoming videos. And then if you've got any recommendations on what you would like to see me paint, I will uh, answer in the comment section. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and uh, maybe can take some tips to yourself. Uh, but thank you. Bye-bye.